in the last tutorial, I forgot to add that when we start the game, we must reset the speed to 4. Otherwise, when you finish the game, the speed starts at whatever the last speed was, which is something we don't want. Um, right now, I want to add some music in. I've used these this tool beatbox to make... Um, does that. I've used this tool to make um, some music. Let's just stop that. And this this tool to add, make some sound effects, which I've added in. I'll add the links to these in the description. Um, and I've added these to my project. So inside my project folder, uh, blocks game, I've added some game music, some uh, a life lost sound, and an explosion sound. So when we lose a life, obviously we'll play these, or when we kill something, we'll add the explosion. Cool, so for, let's start off with adding the game music. So the game music we add um, will actually initialize a game music object. So new audio, and then the that takes in the name of the audio clip, which in our case is game music dot wav. Cool, and we'll actually initialize all of them. So, game music, and then we'll have game music. We'll have the explosion, and we'll have a life lost. Let's just uh, explosion audio, life lost audio, and game audio. Just so we know what they are. Cool, game music, and then this will be explosion. Dot web and this will be life lost. Cool. So when we start the game, what we want to do is play this audio clip. So we'll go here. We'll go game music. Um, we'll set the volume is equal to 0.12. We'll set um, we'll set the current position. We'll, we'll set the current time of the track to zero. So kind of like if it so it doesn't just end. And then we can go game music audio. Ugh, music audio sounds stupid. Let's just say game music. We'll say game music dot play. Cool. So now when we start the game we should hear the background music. But now when we get hit the game over screen, let's make it stop. So if game over, well, we want it to game over. We want the game over. It doesn't actually have a stop method. It has a pause method. So we just run that. So now if we play and we die, then the game music stops and then we start again. And the game music starts again. So now also when we click on a block, we want an ex the explosion audio to play. So we can go, when we click on here, we'll say explosion.play. And we also want to just set the volume of that. So explosion.volume, we can make that 0.12. And then when we lose a life, we also want that to play. So we'll go here. And we'll say life lost audio play and life lost volume cool so now we'll have audio in our game hmm. explosion is not defined oh it's not explosion it's explosion audio so i'll just say here yeah, audio audio and then save time Oh, okay, so it's, uh, we also need to play it, and then we need to set its current time to zero. Cool. And then if we lose a live. Cool. And that's audio.